Welcome again on the next video on how to use the Arduino as a DCC decoder. In the previous video we took a look that uh, we could couple the Arduino that we see over here to the rails and that signal of the DCC, uh, how do you call such a thing, command station. The DCC command station sends out DCC signals the Arduino was able to pick them up via an optocoupler and then control an output or control a servo. Well, that works and I'm going to publish the software soon, uh, so keep an eye on the blog where I will post it in one of the next coming days. But before I did, I wanted to add one more other piece of software and that is uh, suppose that you have this Arduino mounted under your table where the electronics usually resides then you of course want to be able when you are connecting the servos to a, a junction you want to be able to initialize the minimum and maximum angles that you need and maybe you want to tune uh, the speed also a little bit so what I created is a, a piece of software, an, an additional software that you first have to download into the uh, Arduino and then you go under your table and then, well, you have uh, often not too much uh, room to maneuver. So I kept it very simple to a bare minimum. It's just this one wire that you need. You have all your servos connected. Oh, by the way, in previous video I, I mentioned that it was possible to control six servos. Uh, uh, I went on the assumption that they used the pulse width modulation outputs of the Arduino, but that is not true. Uh, the servo uh, commands use the simple outputs of the Arduino and you can control up to 12 servos even with one Arduino, which makes it even more cost efficient. Okay, but that on a side note. Uh, you are under your board and you want to tune uh, one of these two servers that you have connected. Well, the question uh, one is, how do I select a servo? Well, I go here with my little wire and you uh, see that uh, the red light is blinking one time or two times. That means one time I've selected servo one and I can now go to minimum position of servo one or to the maximum position of servo one and then I can tune that position in, in one degree steps. You see it's running very slowly in one degree steps. So I can really stop where I want it to be and then one more, uh, one less. And then I go to the minimum position and I do the same. I uh, tune that position till I am where I want it to be. Uh, so that's, that's that. Let's now go to the servo number two. Let's wait until the light blinks two times. That was just now. And I go to the minimum position and I fine tune that minimum position. And that is all very uh, easy when you are hanging on your knees under the board. Okay, now I go to the maximum of the servo and I tune that maximum again until I am where I need. Well, it is uh, not very sophisticated. I mean, you could, of course, uh, attach a push button uh, to it in, instead of using this wire. But well, <laughs> why not keep it simple? Uh, you only do this once uh, in a year and then, then that's it. So I also kept the software to an absolute minimum. It can be more luxurious. I mean, uh, we could add to that software to, uh, to combine this with the DCC decoder software and have, have it store its data in EEPROM or whatever. I did not do that yet. This is a standalone program. You program your servers so that they uh, have the positions that you need. And then the, on the printout you have normally uh, connected your USB to the laptop. On the printout it states all the numbers that you need and you just fill in those numbers in your DCC software. I will show in a next video uh, uh, how that is done. So see you back later in the next video which is more or less a, a sort of documentation. Instead of writing a manual I thought let's make a, vi a video on how to install the software and how to work with it. See you back there. Bye bye.